Hi, I'm Katina Giesbrecht. I'm a participating artist in the Arts Council of Surrey's Take 10 project. Uh, question number one. Tell us a little bit about yourself as an artist. Well, I am an artist. Uh, I've known I've been an artist since I was five years old. I remember thinking if I could be an artist when I grew up, I'm going to be so happy. So I feel like my dreams have come true by being able to work as an artist and be able, being able to do creative work. Question number two, what is your preferred medium? I love to work in monotype, which is a kind of, a, it's a form of printmaking, but it results in one unique print instead of multiples. So I start off by working on a smooth surface. I add my paint and use different tools to create my design. And then I take a sheet of paper, lay it over top and pull a print. Question number three. Describe your process. Yeah, my creative process would involve a lot of visual, ref like a visual research. So I do a lot of sketching and drawing in journals. I do a lot of process work, get ideas down for how I want to combine colors and textures. I do that on smaller works and then I'll move into my bigger pieces. So I use an art journal to record kind of my experimentations and then I use my art journal as a source of inspiration for when I move to larger pieces, larger, more finished pieces. Question four, uh, where do you find your inspiration? I get my inspiration from nature, from my travels, from photography, uh, all sorts from other artists. Everything, anything can be an inspiration. Question number five, how do you challenge yourself as an artist? Good question. I would say that I challenge myself as an artist to be able to use monotype in a new way, to be able to correct, to be able to challenge myself by trying to recreate um, a certain look or subject matter um, using monotype. So I, I, yeah, I would say that's how I challenge myself as an artist, is trying to recreate things on my plate that are challenging, so yeah. Question number six, what do you do when you face a creative block? Wow, um, I would say that when I face a creative block, one of the best things that I can do is journal. I love to do morning pages and uh, that has been a really great way to kind of be in touch with my um, frustration or my block and being able to do morning um, pages has been a great way to help unlock what is uh, holding me back. Also, I found that talking to another artist who understands uh, the block and the frustration a creative block can um, happen has been really important to be able to kind of bust through a block is just being able to communicate and articulate that to somebody else who understands. So. Question seven. Any encouragement for other artists? Um, I would say that my encouragement to any artist at any stage of their um, artistic career is to always find a community of people that you uh, can connect with. So I enjoy, uh, I have uh, really great friendships with other artists. I be belong to other artist groups and I try to be a positive, uh, influence on social media, being able to encourage other artists in their work and in their, um, yeah, whatever they're doing creatively. So I'd say that one of the most important things is community and uh, creating your own community. Question number eight, what do you do when you're discouraged? Oh boy, that is a good one. Um, I guess, again, is just talking about it, finding that uh, one or two really safe, um, important people that understand the ups and downs of being an artist. Uh, your artwork can, can be so personal and it's, uh, when it's not received in a way that you're, you're hoping it would be, it can be quite a discouragement. So being able to talk to another uh, artist friend 
has been really key in helping me to be able to get past discouragement. Question number nine. Uh, what artistic difficulties have, you, have arisen during quarantine? Well, I'd say the biggest artistic um, difficulty has been those first, you know, three, four months of just feeling lost and really disconnected from my art. I was, I felt very, hmm, I guess I felt really like unsure about the future. So much was up in the air. Is this event going to happen? Is that one going to happen? It was those first three or four months were just so discouraging. Everything canceled. Um, <sighs> that was really unexpected. And then I didn't feel creative. I didn't feel like I had um, work. I had anything interesting to say in my work. But I'd say by the summer and early fall, uh, I guess I started to get used to quarantine and used to the restrictions and, and kind of maybe had a better handle on how things were going to move forward. And so I'd say these um, last few months of quarantine have been more productive, more free. I've just felt in a better place to be able to create. And yeah, so I wasn't really, I didn't realize how much of an impact quarantine would have on my art process and my art practice. Question number 10. What are some of the positives that had come out of this new normal? Oh, wow. I guess I've really learned to the importance of being able to take care of yourself creatively, continue to do the work that you need to do, um, even though the outlets aren't going to be there. It's still, in it's still important to be disciplined as an artist, still do your work, still work your process, and know that eventually it, the outcomes will, will happen. But in the meantime, just stay disciplined and keep doing your creative work, because nobody else can do it. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.